Bwana Yesu asifiwe. To be honest I didn't know they had planned this. Uh, may God bless you. I'm a bit emotional sina maneno sahi but Mungu awabariki. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the worship team we we are blessed to have you all here and uh, we appreciate the sacrifice you put in into the ministry. May God bless you and add you more. Happy birthday on behalf of all of us. Amen. 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 Sorry for that, but it was planned to be that way. And praise team, they requested to give thanks to the Lord because God has handed you a year. So that's the style. We have found it fit to celebrate the Lord for your life. Yeah, Baba and Mama Ochil, you are part of this. Just come over so that we pray together. And if the sea breeze it's a good and enough reason to give thanks to the Lord. Yes, very good. God have given him another year. It's a purpose or a enough reason to tell God thank you. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, Almighty and our living God, you are our everlasting refuge. We've known you, Lord, as an everlasting God. Because, Lord, we know that even before the mountains were made, Father, you existed. And even today, Lord, you lay and forever, Lord, you shall lay. We want to bless your name because of the life of your servant, Daniel Ochiel, whom, Lord, you gave as a gift in the heart and in the life of their parents. Lord, we thank you for you've been together with him. And, Lord, you have made him to be the way he is. Father, it has taken your grace, it has taken your mercy for him to be the way he is. Since, Lord, he was conceived in uh, his mother's womb. Father, you've walked together with him. And even up to this far, Father, you've been so faithful. And therefore, Lord, we come, Lord, together with him as we give thanks because of the life that God you have given to him. And even for the rest of his life, Father, we want to commit him and his life to your able heart. For we know, Jehovah, that you are the Alpha and the Omega. You know his beginning and you know his ending. We, now, we therefore, Lord, commit his life into your able heart. We now commit him once again to you, Jehovah, that, Lord, you continue, Father, empowering him and showering your blessing upon him and even helping him to identify his purpose in this life and to know, Lord, why you created him, that he may abide in your word, he may abide in your laws, that you be walking, Lord, only in your ways for the glory and honor of your holy name. We bless your name, as even, Lord, we pray that you keep him. Lord, you shall continue, Lord, showering your blessing upon his life, and, Lord, you will illuminate his life, and his life will be a testimony, and as many will be seeing him, Lord, will desire to serve Lord his Lord because of how, God, you are going to favor him. Father, we thank you even for his parents, who, Lord, brought him forth. We want to say thank you because they have taken care of him. Continue blessing them. Continue providing to them, O oh Lord, even as they continue catering for him, even as we understand that he is going on and furthering his studies, Lord. We pray for your provision. We pray, Lord, for your God. And as your word tells us that, Lord, you will be sending your angels from heaven to guard your people. This is our prayer, that you guard him 
and his parent and even the sibling and to all those who are dear ones to him. We bless your name and we honor your name. And as you bless him, remember this group of praise and worship whom Lord purposed to come and give thanks because of the life of their brother. We want to pray that you may see them through. We pray that you shall, Lord, bless them. You will expand them. And Lord, you will remain to be good to their life. Father, as they have given and dedicated this, this cake, Lord, for Chiel's birthday, Father, we pray that it will be a blessing as they celebrate the blessing of life, Father of Daniel. Lord, may it be a blessing. And for how, Lord, we know and we understand that has made by many ingredients. This is what we pray that, Lord, that the life of Ochiel, Father, will be mixed up, Lord, of your blessings, O God. You bless her, uh, him, Jehovah Lord, with so many gifts and many years, Father, to be working for you and, Lord, to be witnessing for you. We bless your name and we honor your name. For we pray this in Jesus' holy name, we all say amen. Amen. an expression of gratitude and the love that Lord you have shown to your servant. Receive this gift Lord Father that they may get Lord into this altar for the expansion of your kingdom. Lord receive it as a sacrifice that Lord has been offered by your servant. That Lord you be speaking for your servant's life. Lord as he grows as he even ventures Lord into this life that, Lord, your blessings will be following him wherever he goes, together with his parent and together with the friends and together with this group of praise and worship. Father, we pray, even as a church, that, Lord, you bless him and you continue being good to him. Lord, receive them. May they be of great blessing even to this altar and even to the entire, uh, the entire world. Lord, as you have intended them, Jehovah Lord, to worship you, may they be, Lord, of great blessing, Lord, into this, and Lord, in, in that, that you bless your, uh, your, your servant, and Lord, you will expand them. We bless your name, and we honor your name, for we pray this in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us celebrate Jesus. Thank you so much. That shows a lot of love. They decided to celebrate the life of one of them by such a style. God bless you. God continue being good to you. And now we want to take those, this opportunity to welcome all the ladies in the church to come and serve the Lord as you sing a song to the Lord. Karibuni. God church. Praise God church. Um, 
today as ladies we are going to minister with a song that says Inuka Jiti Nguvu and it's like a word of encouragement okay thank you Inuka Jiti Nguvu si umshindi tawala unakibali msaidizi wako yunani yako inuka inuka jitiengu simama simama simama
and men in the house and as ready sit down we appreciate them wanaume tunapokuja kwa haraka na sisi tumwabudu bwana kwa wimbo God church. Amen. Today we are we're ministering with a song Salama.
As we appreciate uh, the gentlemen while they go back to their seats, I want to welcome the parish secretary for the notices. Let us also appreciate her as she comes. Deacon, Reverend Simon, Evangelist, Captain Munua, readers, and my fellow Christians, Bwana Yesu Asifiwe. Nipungie mkono tumsipi Yesu Christo, Bwana Yesu Asifiwe. Asifiwe Yesu Mokozi. Hame tuonikania tena. It has been a week that tumeenda chini juu, lakini mwenye zimungua kwa pamoja na sisi. We are witnesses that there are those who have been called home, hawa na uhai tena. And we are also witnesses that we are alive. The gift of life is so precious. And no one can give apart from our faithful God. We appreciate him the way we normally do it. Four, three, two, one, for the gift of life. We go. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming so that we can have our corporate worship. Praising our almighty God. The consistency in coming to our father's house, it is a noble cause. Being here every Sunday, it is not Timo Tugo, it is not just like that. We come to worship and glorify our God. I am Mrs. Ruth Jeroge. I'm humbled to stand before you and give the notices. But before then, we would like to acknowledge visitors. If this is your first time to be here, Simama Tukukaribishe. Kama ni mara yako ya kwanza kukua kikao hiki, you are at the right place. Start so that we can acknowledge your presence. Do we have a visitor among us today? Yes, we have one there too. We have quite a number of visitors. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we know we are so many, there are so many churches around, but you have chosen to worship with us today. If you will be fellowshipping with us from this day, kuendelea nipungie mkono wako kama mtakuwa mnashiriki na sisi yes the three will, the four will be fellowshipping with us mam naona kama utarudi pahali unabudu yes tumpatie salamu wa kristo pokea salamu zetu you take our greetings to where you fellowship and after this service kindly come uh, at the front if you are sitting next to that visitor mlete Aweze kukaribishwa kilasmi to have a cup of tea and to be told what to do so that they can become a complete member of our church. Our people's warden is not in, but our TEE teacher, Mr. Philip Potieno, will tell you what to do. After the service, kindly come in front and be welcomed officially. Tuakaribishe wageni wetu with our welcome note. We are happy to have you as our visitor. And we appreciate your visit to our church today. May you feel the presence of the Lord as you worship with us. You may have your seat, and thank you so much for coming. We go to the notices. The vicar's office remains open every Tuesday from 9 a.m. In this case, our vicar is on leave, and Reverend Simon is in office. In case you would like the church to do anything for you, you Prayers, thanksgiving, Reverend Simon is in the office. We always have a midweek Holy Communion uh, service with Holy Communion every Thursday, but in this case, our vicar is, no, is on leave. It is only a service. Come and uh, we pray and worship God together every Thursday from 6 to 7. We shall be having Holy Communion service on 25th August, 2024 in all the services. All Zuno fellowships to be left behind after this service so that they can deliberate on our fad raising. As we all know, there is the plot next to us so that we can deliberate. Tuonge Pamoja, 
ili tujue how we shall go in acquiring we have already acquired it with the some amount, uh, some amount but the way forward to our main harambe so after the service we will be left as pale zonos venye tu nitasoma jerusalem wataenda kwa ile hall kubwa the teens hall that is where jerusalem will meet bethlehem kaidre remain seated here in the church nazareth and judea we have two halls hapa chini mtapata um, uh, mita leaders there they will show you which hall you will meet that is for judea and nazareth tea will be served from where we shall meet chai haitakuwa pale chini so it will be served from where we will meet we all belong to various or those four meters kindly let us remain behind mungu he has entrusted us with this project let us take it positively and give ideas on how we will go about this tea and snacks will be served from where we will meet Reader, readers licensing will happen on 24th august 2024 at st stephen's cathedral and thereafter we have a reception to welcome them uh, here at uh, church at 3 pm that is on august 24th we have three candidates let us continue to pray for them and also avail ourselves to take them for them to be licensed confirmation classes are there from tuesday to friday from 2 pm and every sunday from 2 pm parents kaidre if your child has attained the age of 12 uh, you can register him or her for confirmation during this time that our children are on holiday that is why they are taking their classes tuesday to fridays and uh, sundays at 2 pm TE classes are there every Sunday uh, day right today from 8 and uh, 6 pm from uh, Mondays we are reading the book of Luke and tumejua ya kwamba Luke is the writer of the he, that book Luke and Mark he is encouraging us as the new Christians to go with the work of the Lord through the Holy Spirit the work of the Holy Spirit is to guide us and encourage us Our teacher is Mr. Philip Otieno in case you're interested you can join us we read the word of God together Adonai Insurance is the Diocese of Nairobi insurance company kindly their numbers are there you can give business ushers today they are from Jerusalem ushers next Sunday they will be from Bethlehem zone we go to other additional notices there are quite a number but I'll be very brief pastor visits they will resume once our vicar is back a total of 142 families have been visited we will have a kesha on friday 16th august 2024 starting from 8:30 p.m. kindly let us avail ourselves and spend the night in the presence of the lord in praise and worship this has been uh, arranged by the uh, our praise and worship team and the evangelism ministry so kaidre 16 that is coming friday will be having a kesha here let us pray and also attend mothers union executive team will visit our archdeacon on friday 16th august 2024 the diocesan agm will be on friday 16th august 2024 at St Stephen's Cathedral Jogorod starting from 9 a.m. Brigade enrollment will be on 17th August 2024 at SK St James Buruburu from 9 a.m. Brigade enrollment on 17th August at SK St James Buruburu from 9 a.m. Kasarani Archdeaconry will have a fellowship for young mothers on 25th August 2024 at St Abro's City Chicken that will be on 25th August 2024 The Archdeacon Kasarani Archdeacon 
will visit our parish or our church on Sunday 25th this month and they will celebrate the Holy Communion service. That is why we did not have the Holy Communion on the first Sunday. We will have it on 25th and uh, the host will be our Archdeacon. We prepare and uh, pray for that day. East African Regional Fellowship for Brigade Officers and uh, the non-commissioned officers will be on 20th to 24th, August 2024 at Nakuru High School. Charges are 6,000 and for more information, there is a notice or uh, uh, there is a note at the notice board, you can kindly refer. The assistant ordination service will be on 31st, August 2024 at St. Stephen's Cathedral, Jogo Road. And thereafter, we'll have a reception here in our church. We have Reverend Simon, who will be ordained on that day. We, uh, we pray for him and also avail ourselves on that day. Nairobi Diocese Youth Ministry Enrollment Service will be on Saturday, 7th September, 2024, here in our church. We are privileged to host that occasion uh, for the diocese, uh, the youth ministry. It will be on uh, 7th September, uh, at starting from 9 a.m. here in our church. Choir Music Festival for the Archdeaconary will be on 14th September. The venue will be communicated later. Head of Year Development Fundraising will be on Saturday 10th, 20, November 2024. Kaidre, let us prepare for this. That is why we are meeting all the zones so, so that we can uh, arrange and uh, deliberate on this. Brigade Annual Camp will be at Lukenya Academy from 12th to the 16th, November 2024. Charges are 6,000. This is inclusive of uh, transport. For more information, kindly refer to the poster that has been pinned at the notice board. Teens camp for the year 2024 will be at Diani from Sunday 1st to Saturday 7th December this year. Charges are 14,000 per person. For more details, we still have a poster at the notice board. All fellowships to be left behind after the service, as we have uh, announced. It is uh, with uh, deep sorrow we announce the passing on of the father to Mr. and Mrs. William Kamaunganga of uh, Nazareth. Let us pray for the family during this difficult uh, moment. We will join the family today at 3 p.m. to pray and uh, give a word of comfort during this time that they are mourning their father. Burial service will be on Thursday, 15th August at ACK St. Paul's Joro. 15th August, that is when they will lay their father to rest. We have another bereavement. It is with deep sorrow that we announce the passing on of the mother-in-law to Mr. and Mrs. John Yeshoke Moura of Jerusalem Fellowship. Uh, this is Baba and Mama Shiro. They are just neighbors to our church here, the owners of uh, the strategic hardware. They are our members, Kaidre. Also let us remember them in our prayers, and also we channel our finances through our Mita readers. We pray for them during this difficult moment. CGS teens. That is, our teens will visit Kamai Children's Home at Kamite Prison on 31st August 2024. Parents are requested to release their teens when this time comes. Also, support these children with uh, soaps, detergents, toothpaste, toilet paper, so that they can take to that uh, Kamai Children's Home. Release your, par uh, your children so that they can go and uh, see these children. Uh, it is an eye-opener to know that they can commit some, uh, something, some offense that can make them to be jailed even at a very young age. So on that day, 31st, release our children so that they can see 
the less privileged. That is, all oh, what we had, Christians, I'm still saved, and I love Christ as my personal savior. I wish you a blessed week ahead. Thank you. Let us appreciate our sister better. Thank you. Praise God. My name is Simon Gujiri Mushemi, and I'm saved this morning. Receive greetings from our vicar. Receive greetings from our vicar. Thank you. And on his behalf, I'll read a few additional notices. Number one is the bonds of marriage between Joel Moravi Roji of our church and Margaret Cheruto Toto of Baptist Church Eldoret. Joel is our member because he's, he's a son to Jerica Buyanyaga. I don't know whether Jerica is in today. Yes, Jerica is there. Is Joel in? Joel is not in, but the mother is here. So he is our son. This is the first time of announcing. Let us pray for Joel together with his fiancée so that th that wedding will be a success. If anyone has just cause that may impede this wedding to go on, you are requested to see with the vicar on the same. But we are also notified that in our new constitution, we get the certificate even before the wedding. So unless it is a very serious thing that may impair this wedding, we are requested to pray for Joel and to pray for the family even as they prepare for the wedding. Our lead, this is coming from the Agrican Church of Kenya, Diocese of Nairobi. Notice of sequis. Notice is hereby given that Leverett Solomon Mugai Minor, a resident of Nairobi, intends to offer himself a candidate for the Holy Office of Priest to be exercised within the limits of the Diocese of Nairobi at the ensuing ordination by the right Leverett Joel Waweru. Bishop of Nairobi. If any person knows any just cause of impediment for which he ought not to be admitted into the holy order of priests for the Diocese of Nairobi, he or she is now to declare the same or to signify the same forthwith to the bishop. We all know Leverett Simon. He was one of us here at CGS, but God has been gracious to him, and he is now ready to offer himself for the office of the priest. If you have any just cause that may impend him to proceed to this office, you can see the vicar, and again, you can also uh, take your petition to the bishop. This notice will also be led at SEK St. Helen Githurai uh, 45, SEK St. Mark's Parish Ruai, and St. Stephen's Cathedral. Let us continue to pray for him, even as they prepare for the ordination. Number two, again, notice of sequis. Notice is hereby given that Leverett Stanley Dixon Guadaru, a resident of Nairobi, intends to offer himself a candidate for the holy office of priest to be exercised within the limits of the diocese of Nairobi at the ensuing ordination by the right Leverett Joel Wawero, Bishop of Nairobi. If any person knows any just cause of impediment for which he ought not to be admitted in the holy order of priest for the diocese of Nairobi, he or she is now to declare the same or signify the same forthwith to the bishop again. We all know Leopard uh, Standard Dixon Guadaro. He was 
uh, one of us, and we thank God that he's, he has been together with him. If you have any just cause, you can see our vicar, you can also uh, look for the bishop and take your petition again to him. But we are also requested to pray for him as he prepares for the ordination. Number three, notice of sequis, notice is hereby given that Leverett Simon Masharia Rashie, he is one of us, a resident of Nairobi, intends to offer himself a candidate for the holy office of priest to be exercised within the limits of the Diocese of Nairobi at the ensuing ordination by the right Reverend Joel Waweru, Bishop of Nairobi. If any person knows any just cause of impediment for which he ought not to be admitted into the holy order of priest for the Diocese of Nairobi, he or she is now to declare the same or signify the same forthwith to the bishop. Again, Simon is one of us, uh, and he has been serving us. We really thank God because he has been together with him, and now time has come for him to offer himself to the office of the priest. If you have any just cause, you can still see our vicar or see the bishop, and the same, you'll be able to deal with the same. The bishop will do the same. But otherwise, let us pray for um, Chungaji as he prepares for the ordination. Let us pray for him, that he will guide him in all his doings. This notice will also be read at SEK St. Mark's Parish, Ruai, and St. Stephen's Cathedral Church, Nairobi. Let us appreciate the three candidates. Let us appreciate them. We thank God that he has been together with them and he's going to guide them every step of the way. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. Let us also appreciate the Vicar Warden for doing those notices in a very good way. Now, uh, Reverend Simon, uh, Simon is the one who is going to minister to us the word of God. But before he does, to Simame to stretch, praise and worship briefly, and then we prepare our hearts to hear the word of the Lord.
imani Jehova kukufahamu zaidi tinsi ulivyo kama Bwana ulivyo nenea mtumishi wako Musa wakati Bwana ulipokuwa unamtumia pale kutoa wana wa Israeli katika utumwani akakuja kukudua ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu ambaye uliishi kitambo hata kabla ya ubaji wote hivi divyo ambavyo Bwana tuatamani katika mioyo yetu Jehova tukufahamu vile ulivyo jinsi unavyopenda sisi tuishi jinsi tunavyofaa kuishi sababu miaka tulio nayo duniani sio mingi kwa hivyo tunafaa kuwa na moyo wa hekima ili Bwana tuweze kuishi haya maisha kwa njia ya kujiandaa kwa ajili ya siku yako itakayokuja ili Bwana utuelekeze katika Yerusalemu mpya toomba Bwana watu wako wanapokaa uweze kunena nao unene na mioyo yao unene na hali zao usikubali mmoja wetu Bwana akaondoka katika marango haya vile ama jinsi tulivyoingia toomba Bwana unene mioyo yetu unene hali zetu ili Bwana tunapoenda kuanzia juma lingine Bwana tuwe na jambo tuwe na neno ambalo Bwana litatusaidia kuendelea kuishi jinsi unavyo Bwana ataka uh, sisi Bwana tuishi toba Bwana utubariki unene nasi kwa kunitumia Bwana watu wako watakapokaa Bwana naomba ukawaeleze jinsi ulivyopanga na ni katika Kristo tunaomba na kuamini Amen tunaweza ka and we celebrate Jesus for his doings. We also celebrate the praise and worship team for guiding us well. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise be to God. Yeah, I'm well in the Lord. He is good in my soul. I've seen him walking together with me and surely I can attest that he is a faithful God. He never forsake nor leave his own and his beloved ones. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo wacheni tutamani kuishi karibu na yeye kama vile tumeimba ya kwamba ya kwamba tutamani zaidi kuwa pamoja na yeye maana ataendelea kujifunua kwetu na tutazidi kujua uh, mapenzi yake katika maisha yetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Hata kwa wakati kama huu ametupa nafasi nyingine ili tuweze kukaa chini ya miguu yake ni vyema uwe na shauku yani ukue na the urge to know what does the lord want with me what does the lord want with my life bwana yesu asifiwe do not be the first person who may come into the presence of god the way you came and you allow again to leave this place the way you came just grab maybe a word that will help you to move that will help you to keep going do not allow that chance uh, to learn from you bwana yesu asifiwe hallelujah because it is a blessing that god has blessed us with remember there are many who would like to have a moment as you are having but they can't not because uh or i'll seek or maybe not because uh, because they cannot sit as you are seated it is simply that the god of these ages have brightened them and they cannot see the light of jesus christ so for us to have this opportunity to sit at the feet of god it is a privilege it is a blessing that god have bestowed upon each and every of us hallelujah i would like us to interact with the word of God from the book that was led to us uh, from Psalm 90 was led to us and Song of Solomon was also led to us and the second epistles of Peter chapter 3 and we led from verses 8 and uh, to verse 13 and I would like us mostly to dwell on the psalm that was led to us, Psalm 90. And 
will be guided by the theme that goes as, teach me, Lord, how to count my days. Can you say this? Teach me, Lord, how to count my days. Yeah, a Psalm 90 was a, a prayer that was made by the servant of God, Moses. It's a prayer made by Moses, and it is a very special psalm. Among 150 psalms, it uh, appears to be very uh, unique, for it is the only psalm that has been written by Moses. And uh, it is believed that this prayer was made by the servant of God during the time that they were wandering in the wilderness together with the children of Israel. If you happen to read from the book of Numbers chapter 20, you'll see the account, you see the story of how uh, uh, Moses and the Israelites uh, were in the wilderness. And it is the same time uh, when Moses encountered God in a very personal way. And he made this prayer out of how he studied God and got to know how God was, and he was able to outline the attributes of God. And I was thinking about uh, Moses when he was writing this prayer, or when he was making this prayer. He must be a man who was uh, frightened by the doings of the Lord. He must be, uh, have been, af uh, been afraid of how God was moving and working amongst his people. But still, he also understood God in a very broad way. And this is why he is bringing a sense that, uh, that the Lord God has been the dwelling place of his people from one generation to the other. Moses understood that the Lord God Almighty was with his forefathers, Kina Abraham, Kina Jacob, Kina Israel. He was with them. And even at that particular time, he understood that he was still with him. Praise be to God. Have you desired also to understand God as your refuge, as your dwelling place, as a place of where you can find a refuge? Moses understood. Moses studied God, and he was able to see and to understand that really God was a dwelling place, was a dwelling or a refuge to the Israelites from one generation, uh, generation to the other for what he had seen out of him. And he goes on praying to the Lord. And as he attributes to the Lord, and as he, he said, Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout our generation. God had been their dwelling place. Even at that particular time that they were roaming and wandering in the, in the wilderness and not well, that the reason as to why they were wandering in the wilderness, it is out of uh, the, 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 uh, the disobedience to the Lord. This caused them to face the love of God. This caused them to face the judgment of God. Hallelujah. I do know why, why they were wandering in the wilderness. Simply because, simply because they uh, never and knew, or they never understood uh, the time of God. And to them, they thought that God had took uh, wronger before he, had came, uh, he, uh, before he came to give to them whatever he had promised them. When they were taken out of the hand of uh, Egyptians, they traveled as they head to the promised land that is Canaan. And in the midst of their journey, they forgot of the Lord who taken them out of the land of Egypt. And they began quarreling with their, with their reader, that is Moses. And the Bible tells us that time they experienced the love of God. 
because as you continue reading from the book of Numbers, you'll see that is the time that the judgment of God happened even to the, uh, the closest people, to servant of God Moses. This is the time that the sister to Moses, that is Miriam, died. This is the time that Moses never believed or never fred, trusted in the Lord. And when God spoke to Moses and told him, when uh, the, the, the rioting uh, became very big from the Israelite because of lack of water, God spoke to Moses and Elon and told him, go to the assemblies, go to the assemblies, and you speak to the lock, and that lock will spring out waters. And instead, they never spoke to the, to the lock. Instead, they struck the lock with whatever lot that they holded with their heart. This disgraced the Lord. And out of this, Moses was denied a chance also to get into the promised land. So it was a moment where he had seen and experienced the judgment of the Lord. Himself, being denied an opportunity to get into the promised land was never easy. Seeing his sisters and brother dying in the wilderness, it also made him uh, remain frightened of how God was doing. And this is why in the verses 3 he says, you turn people back to dust, saying, return to dust, you mortal. He had seen how God would express his judgment upon the people who have hardened their heart. He had seen out uh, from uh, uh, all through the journey, remember what happened before uh, Fal uh, agreed to release the people or to release the children of Israel. God had to perform uh, miracles by sending plagues that uh, uh, added up by even killing the firstborns of male of the Egyptians. So Moses could see how God was expressing his uh, judgment to the people who have hardened their soul. He also saw when the Israelite became uh, disobedient, even in the wilderness, God was killing them. And as he began with the sister Miriam and Aaron, so he understood how God was working. And remember, and take note, the reason as to why the Israelite were, were, were facing the love of God, it is that they grew impatient, by, uh, impatient with God. And they thought that whatever God had promised has taken long, and they turned to other gods. They turned, they never trusted, they never or totally leaned on God, including Moses, because he's just been told by God, go and speak to the Lord. But he never trusted God free. Instead of speaking to the Lord, he stricken, uh, stricken the, the Lord. And out of that, God was anger with him. So Moses, as he made this prayer to God, he is a person who had seen a God. And he also understood the eternity of God and God can never, be, uh, can never be compared with us because he's well saying that uh, he recognized the brevity of the life of a human being because we only live for a short while and then we just fade up as the grass did. It is greener in the morning, but in the evening it, uh, it dries up. This is how... Uh, uh, Moses compares the life of human being uh, with the grass. And therefore, brethren, in the name of Christ, we've been called to be reminded that we sh should not take uh, where we are now, or we should not take this life as if we have got to our home. No, remember even Peter says that as we live, we should live as aliens in this land going or awaiting to get to our better destination. That is the eternity that will come through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And Moses is saying and is reminding us of how short 
uh, life that we have. Hallelujah. And he says that we are just like, uh, like a grass. And he, uh, he brings uh, God's, uh, God's view of time, which is very different from us. Because he's saying that a thousand days in the eyes of the Lord, it is compared by a one day, an actual a, a, a past day, or a watch in the night. Hallelujah. Therefore, we should never think that God is slow, whether to come to fulfill his promises or to bring his judgment. Hallelujah. And this is why the servant of God, Moses, comes and makes a prayer. God, in, uh, in verses 12, teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. May the Lord teach us to number our days, and even to gain the heart of wisdom. Hallelujah. And after we acquire the wisdom of God, we will not live as if we are at home. We will live as people who know that this is not the end. This is not the destination where we are, we are going. We are still on our way. And it is up to us to make us uh, or to, to amend our ways by abiding to the laws of the Lord. Remember what uh, brought different between the Israelite and their maker and the compassionate God who had uh, re taken them out of the heart of slaveness. It is only sin and the sin of uh, getting or growing impatient. May the Lord help us not be affected by that spirit of impatient where we may think that uh, this uh, Lord have been told uh, he, he is coming and you think that it is taking long and you feel as if now this is the time that I will establish myself. This is now uh, the time to strengthen your foundation or not. Forgetting that you are only on this earth for a while. Praise be to God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo ni vyema watumishi wa Mungu tunapoishi na tunapo tumikia huyu Mungu. Ni vyema tujue ya kwamba tupo duniani kwa wakati mfupi zaidi. Tusiachukulie mambo ya dunia kama tuf, eh, tujihisi ya kama kwamba tulifika. Ila ni vyema kujua ya kwamba hata tunapoishi tujue siku ya Bwana iwaja na neno la Mungu katika Eh, katika waraka tulio somewa wa Petro uh, ka, eh, 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 sura hiyo ya tatu Petro naye anasema ya kwamba i, siku ya mungu ama siku ya bwana itakuja kama mwivi ambavyo ama ambavyo huwa anakuja because of this just appears to you they do not give you an appointment they just appear appears to you hallelujah and therefore we've been charged today that it is now upon us to live uh, the holy lives, spotless one and brainless one. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Usiashike ya dunia ufikiria ya kwamba umefika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Some of us we may look at ourselves and we say, ah, no, it's just, it's just hurry. We are still young. We, we, we must enjoy this life. But woe unto you if you just say that. Because there is no time. And we are reminded very well. We are just like uh, the grass. That it, is, uh, uh, it appears to be so fresh in the morning. But in the evening, it dries up. Hallelujah. We are now called brethren to live or to read a holy lives. You know you should look at yourself. You evaluate yourself. How do you live? Na unajua tulifika. Watu walifika duniani. Na dio maana hawana nafasi ya mungu katika maisha yao. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Wana wa Israeli ukiangalia walivyo fanya. 
ni watu ambao wako tu kama sisi walisahau yale Mungu aliwatenda ama wakasahau ya kwamba Mungu aliwakomboa kutoka mikono ya farao katika hali ya utumwa na wakakimbia kusahau wakakimbia uh, they, they, they enjoyed the, com uh, the comfort zone that they could eat manna in the wilderness and they could uh, do anything that they wished to do and they forgot of God who had taken them out of the slaverness hivi divyo pia pengine wakati mwingine tunajisahau tunasahau ya kwamba tulizaliwa ama tulikuja katika ulimwengu huu na tupo katika ulimwengu huu kwa wakati mchache sana bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya and when you just understand that you are here for a while the bible actually uh, the same the same person peter he compares the life of a man like uh, the, uh, the the day the drizzling day unaweza ukaamuka uone kuna the fog but at next time you find there is no what that's how the life of man is compared you are just like a smoke you can appear now and the next time you you can never be seen bona yesu asifiwe therefore the servant of god he made this prayer and prayed to god lord teach us to count our days that we may gain the heart of wisdom bona yesu asifiwe Moses understood that he alone would not get to identify the will and the purpose of God into his life and this is why he is pleading with God teach us to number our days that we may gain the heart of wisdom he understood that him only would not know what God want out of him and he had experienced he had seen god doing things and this is why he was saying that uh, that a uh, god turns human to dust so he had seen god expressing his love upon people and he understood that him alone would not know what little god want us with his uh, creation and this is why he's calling uh, or pleading with god therefore lord help us to number our days bwana yesu asifiwe hallelujah and it is always good to understand that we are only on this world not for us a long while we are only here not permanent but we are assured of uh, eternity and we shall not just get to there just by living aimlessly without inquiring from the lord and knowing his ways bona yesu asifiwe we need to be and to live as per his word and as we as we led from the second peter uh, verses 8 to 13 uh, the writer says but do not forget this one thing dear friends with the lord a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day the Lord is not slow in keeping his promises, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is, patient, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. This is Peter who is reminding us that we should, think, we should not think that we have uh, the whole, uh, the whole uh, time to live in this world. We should remember that the time is coming. And he actually reminds us and tells us that we should not think that uh, when God says that his day is coming, we think that it is taking uh, too long before it comes. The Bible is telling us it's only that God has given us time to make, uh, to make our ways and even to set or to keep our houses in order bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya ukijiangalia hivyo usifikirie ya kwamba yesu amekawia ni vile ambavyo anakuhurumia amekupa nafasi ya kubadilisha mwendo bwana yesu asifiwe you've been given a time to, to, to transform 
You've been given a time to repent. You've been given time to return from those worldly things and now turn to Jesus so that when the day comes, you will celebrate together with others the victory of Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo tunayajua yale ambayo anaweza yakatutanganisha and we have seen what had separated the Israelite and their God. It is uh, uh, the or the thing called sin. Dhambi dio sababu ku ambayo itatutenganisha na muumba wetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo tuepukane na dhambi Tuepukane na yare maovu ambayo anaweza ya katueka mbari na huyu mungu. Na hivyo tujiweke sawa. Tuzigatie utakatifu. We should embrace righteousness. We should live a godly life. A spotless, uh, spotlight li uh, life. So that we get ready to receive the Lord. And to receive the salvation of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. And the Bible continues saying in 2 Peter, But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a lull. The element will be destroyed by fire. And the earth and everything done, it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live a holy and godly life as you look forward to the day of God and spend it and speed it is coming. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by the fire and the element will melt in the, in the heat. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteous dwells. Praise be to God. So it's up to us, brethren, to live that godly, a godly life, looking forward for the day of Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Siku ya Bwana iwaja. Tusifikirie ya kwamba amechukua muda, lakini ni juu yetu kujieka sawa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuikana dhambi, kukana shetani na kazi zake zote na kumfuata Yesu Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Iwapo tunataka kuingia katika Yerusalemu mpya, lazima tuachane na dhambi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Lazima tujieke tayari kupokea Yesu Kristo. Lazima tujieke tayari kuingia katika mji mpya wa Yerusalemu tukiwa na ushidi wa kuishi maisha matakatifu na yanayomfaa Mwenyezi Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo kama ni dhabi ya kusengenya tunaachana nayo. Kama ni dhabi ya chuki tunaachana nayo. Kama ni dhambi ya kudaganya tunaachana nayo. Kama ni dhambi ya usinzi tunaachana nayo. Kama ni dhambi ya hayo yote tunaachana nazo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. For the day of the Lord is near and speedily coming. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesu yuaja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naona watu wengine wanaweza wanajiri. Sasa ndiko na miaka hii yote na Yesu pia nilipozaliwa na nimeishi. Bado naambiwa you are Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Just like Moses would see people would come generation would come and they would perish as he sees. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Si divyo ilivyo. Si ni watu wangapi ambao tumeona wamepita hapo ambapo wewe umekaa na wametanguliwa na wamefanya nini? Wameenda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Just the other day we were here with Mr. George. But today is he with us. Hallelujah. That's how the short the shortness of our life is. We are only seen for a while and then we leave and we go. My brothers and sisters, my friends, therefore let us lead a godly life, a spotless a spotless life and a brimless life as we await for the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. Therefore, let nobody think that God is slow to act, whether to bless or to judge. God is not limited to time. Because you might think, because, uh, you might think that you are a you are hundred years, and to the Lord, one thousand years to him, it is just like yesterday. Hallelujah. So it is 
upon us all to be or uh, to get prepared, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with God. Put in your mind that God's patience means salvation. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ukiona kama Mungu amekawia sana, ni nafasi ambayo umepewa, ni wakati umepewa wa kujieka sawa ili uweze kuokolewa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Usifikirie maana umekimbia nje ya ndoa siku chache na umeenda mwaka ama miaka miwili na bado unatudanganya vile ambavyo tunaenda katika hii safari. Ufikirie ya kwamba Yesu ya kwamba haoni na harudi. You are only given some time so that you may make up yourself so that you shall be among those who will get into New Jerusalem. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ha Hallelujah. Ambapo itakuwa ni Yerusalemu ambapo katika Revelation Elevation 21, 1 to 4, uh, the writer says, or oh, he uh, brings a picture of New Jerusalem, where we shall not mourn, where we shall not cry. If you are wishing to have or to enjoy that life, you only or you ought to lead a spotless life, a blameless life, and to live having kept your house in order, waiting for the day of the Lord. May the Lord guide us. May the Lord teach us to learn how to number our days so that we may live as wise but not as foolish. In the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. msangilie bwana kwa neno lake zaidi neno ambalo la uhai we are not here for a long time we are here for a short while so let it be a quality time praise the lord i want to uh, request those who may have brought their tithes with them in the house of god or those who have deposited electronically in the course of time or have the intention of doing that to kindly make their way forward so that we pray together as the rest of us also prepare to uh, give our offertory. Tithers, uh, Karibuni. And I would like even those who are online to be joining us in this. Praise the Lord. So as Vichugaji prays for them, I'm sure he'll remember them. Let us appreciate them as they come. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, again we appear in your presence with thanksgiving because of the blessings that you have blessed us with. We honor your name because you are faithful God into our lives. Thank you, Lord, for it is your word that says that, Lord, that we should bring 10% of, of what, Lord, we earn into your house. And Lord, there are blessings that, Lord, you have declared to us when we do as per your commandment. And your word says that, Lord, you shall open the floodgate of heaven and you shall shower your servant with the blessings from heaven. You will also rebuke the devourers, which uh, takes or eats up the fruit when they are not alive. This is our prayer. As your servant appears publicly, Lord, in your presence, Father, that God, you bless them and bless the work of their hands, O God. And Lord, you shall rebuke the devourers that they may come, Lord, to, uh, to, Lord, to, to eat up the fruit of their, their, the, the work of their heart before it is lady. We pray that God, you rebuke uh, them for them, O King of glory. And Father, that you bless them, Lord, even 
from, uh, from where Jehovah King of Glory they work, O oh God, and you keep on expanding them. It is my prayer that you see them through. To those who work in various places, we pray for your strength, we pray for your favor, and we pray for your grace, that God, you continue helping them, Father, to be willing to do what they do, O oh Lord. We also want to pray for those who have businesses. We pray favor upon them, O oh God. We pray for customers. We pray for clients, O oh Lord, to their businesses, that, Lord, you may expand them, so that, Lord, that they are able, Jehovah Lord, to have much of their own and even to serve you for the expansion of your kingdom. Father, you understand the desire of their heart. Father, there are prayers that they might have made, Lord, to you. May you now, Lord, come and meet them, Lord, and bless them according to your heavenly riches. We pray that you bless them, Jehovah Lord. Bless their health, bless their families. You bless their wives, you bless their husbands, you bless even the fruit of their berries. Father, we pray even that you bless even their families, and Lord, you bless all their endeavors. Father, as you have, Lord, assured that you shall be there going out, and they are coming in. It is our prayer that your security will be always upon them. You'll be guarding them as they go and as they come. Father, you shall be together with them. We pray that you may bless them and you see them through. And now, whatever that they have brought, Lord, into your house, O Lord, we receive them with thanksgiving, O God. May they remain to be a sacrifice that Lord will stand and speak for them, Jehovah King of Glory. May they be of blessing into this parish and even to the entire diocese. Bless them now and forever, Jehovah, because you are faithful. For we pray this in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Karibuni, na mungu wa bariki kazi ya mikono yenu. Amen. Asante sana. Let us now be upstanding as we give our offertory and we shall be singing a song about the Holy Spirit. The Comforter has come. Oh, uh -huh. 
captive soul, a full deliverance brings, and through the vacant cells, the song of triumph brings, the come from you, O Lord, and of their own will. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We worship you and we give you praise to your holy name. Thank you for this opportunity you have given us, Lord, to give our offerings unto you, O God. The Bible tells us that all things come from you, Lord, and we have given them back to you, Jehovah God. We want to bring our offerings to you, my Father, King of glory, that you may help us to put them into good use, Jehovah God, in our diocese, even to, the, uh, um, to our diocese, O King of glory, even to our church, O King of glory. We want to consecrate, O God, this, these offerings that we have given unto you, Lord, to be used for your own work, O Jehovah God. Those who have given, bless them, and those who do not have, Lord, may you provide unto them. We trust Trust in your providence, O Jehovah, King of glory. Those who are given out of the abundance of the heart and they are sick, Lord, may this offering speak unto their behalf, O God, and healing flow to their lives. We thank you and we worship you, for we pray this believing and trusting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We continue praying. Dear Heavenly Father, we come in your presence this afternoon. Father, to thank you for allowing us to worship you, Lord and even to reason from you. Thank you that, Lord, you allowed us to sit at your feet and you have spoken to us, O oh Lord, and reminding us, Lord, of how short time we have in this world and we should 
Lord, look at ourselves and even make up ourselves, O oh Lord, by embracing righteousness and living a godly life where, Lord, we should live a blameless one and spotless one. It is our prayer that, God, you help us even as we continue with our lives, O oh God, to understand and to uh, remember that, God, we are only for a season in this world, and therefore we should make use of every opportunity by glorifying you, O oh God, and even by leading a life that, Lord, pleases you, O oh Lord. Thank you for your servant. Thank you, God, that you gave them this opportunity to come, Lord, and to worship you, Lord, even with their givings, O oh Lord. We pray now, God, that you continue, Lord, blessing them. Father, as your word assured us, that, Lord, you shall be our going out and our coming in. It is our prayer that you take care of each and every of us, even as we disperse, Lord, even as we go to begin a new week, O oh God, we commit it, Lord, in your hand. Lord, as your people travels, Lord, to various places, we pray for your safety. We pray for your goodness. We pray for your providence, O oh God, that there is no one who will leave his or her house, O oh God, and in the evening, Lord, to come back without, O oh Lord. For we know, God, you are the one who provides Jehovah, Lord. You provided the Israelite in the wilderness, O oh Lord. And even to us, it is very possible to give us all what that we require and need from you. Bless us all, Jehovah, and continue, Lord, being together with us. We want to commit everything to thee, for we know, Lord, with you, Father, we are safe. Bless us and always walk together with us. And we are hopeful when, Lord, you shall give us another opportunity to gather, Lord, for the purpose of uh, praising you, Lord, and worshiping you, God. We shall also have another opportunity to give thanks to thee because you are good, Lord, and you love us. Thank you, Father, and thank you, God, for we pray this in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of thy Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, all of us, for we got time to come to worship the Lord. As we were told, I just want to remind you that kindly do not leave. Go to your respective zone, fellowship, where we are going to discuss uh, about how we're going to do our fundraise. And then let us also remember that in the evening that is allowed three, we are going to stand with one of us, that is the family of William. Uh, it's just, it is Nazareth zone. Ni hapo panaitwa stage ya popote. Eh, hapo, ukiwa hapo, it's just there. Let us go there in the afternoon kindly to stand with that family. Mungu wa bariki na wazidishie. May the Lord bless you. Turn to your neighbor and wish him or her a blessed week. Thank you. And as we recess, we'll be seeing Puniongoza Muokozi. Puniongoza Muokozi, Dipo Nami.